Hey everyone, and welcome back. We're gonna be talking about how to use CAP. So I just have this really plain example here. You can keep these design files. I'll send them over to everyone so they have them. And I've created a nice little landing page and just a very quick parallax effect for this Apple AirPods website. So let's jump in and take a look at the prototype. So I'm just gonna press R. So that's basically what it does. I'm gonna click explore and it's just gonna kind of restart the whole thing. So it's really smooth transition and I want to capture this in particular. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually go up here to my toolbar on my MacBook and I'm gonna click the cap application. And that's all it's gonna do. It's gonna start the screen and there's a couple different options here. The first option is whether you want to crop it and you can select anywhere you like. So if I go back, you can leave it like that, or you can click this button, which will take a recording of the whole screen. Then you can just pick an application that you want to focus on. So it can focus on Figma solely, or it can focus on maybe I have the messaging app open right now as well. Even the Chrome app, it's totally up to you. You can record anything you like. And the only other thing is you have a couple different settings that if you want to play around with, you can do that here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm not going to record. I'm just gonna turn that off. I'm gonna make sure that my background is white for my recording. So I'm just gonna to go to my background. FFF, and that's just gonna make my background for the screen white, so everything blends in nicely. And then I'm gonna play with a couple of different options. I'm gonna scale this down just a bit, and I'm also going to hide the Figma UI. So this is the shortcut to hide it and show it again, because once you hide it, you need to know the shortcut to bring it back. This is great for showcasing your work or if you want to just send somebody a prototype and you don't want anyone playing around with any of the settings, just to leave it just as is. This is what I would also do if you were recording. So let's go through it. Okay, so you can copy the sharing link if you want to right there. Now I am ready to use this. Okay, now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up Cap and then I'm just gonna create my own box. I'm gonna make sure that it lines up as much as jumped out of there. Okay, let me just get it on this side as well. And right here, perfect. So now we can start recording. So now we're recording still recording, so I'm gonna just press R. Great. And then I'm gonna stop the recording like that. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna just bring up this section over here. and you can take a look at the video. You can also modify whether you wanna export as a GIF, MP4, totally up to you. I'm gonna save it to my disk, meaning just like my desktop, and I want it as a GIF. So I'm gonna actually do that. I'm also going to trim it a bit because we did have a little bit of a weird start. So let's trim it one more time. And that is looking good. I'm just gonna watch it again. This is really helpful to have these trim lines over here to bring in the content really nicely. Okay, and I think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna export it. Let's just go to our desktop 
and I'm just going to rename it to capture. So right now that's going to convert. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to use that video.